Bloom, created by Board Beer. I'm coming to you from on top of the Grand Canal in Dublin. Well, of course I'm not. I'm here in the middle of the show gardens at the Bloom Festival. Now show gardens like this are of course just that, they're show business. This is all about showing off, cutting edge ideas and new trends. But to create a show garden of this standard takes that extra layer of skill and it needs that extra level of detail. I've spoken to a few designers to see just exactly what that entails. Kevin, when you, when you build a garden like this, you're putting yourself on display, obviously, uh, and, and you're out there to be admired and complimented, but you're also out there to be criticised, aren't you? There's no real margin for error here. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's actually quite a difficult thing to do because you need to build a garden that's inspiring and that has something different. And in this garden, it's a garden that people can relate to because it has elements that they're used to in their homes, such as a lawn and paved areas. But we have to put construction in here that is more difficult, has more serious angles, and it expresses a lot more detail in cutting and levels and angles. And, and that, that, when it looks difficult like that, people kind of, kind of really get inspired and kind of go, that's different, that, you know, that's showy, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, well, the level of detail is unreal. Every square meter compared to the real world is probably a man's time per day. Okay. So, the, the yellow walls you see here would have all been prefab before the show in a steel workshop um, in controlled conditions. And the likes of the gabion walls, in a normal real world situation, the gabions, the stones would have been placed in probably at a quicker pace. We would have got a stonemason in to build the gabions inside the cage. To, make, to make sure that each stone is looking yeah, at its exactly, best. Exactly, as if it's a natural stone wall inside. Linda McKeown designed this garden for Enable Ireland and it's called Beyond Boundaries. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous space. Linda, this is showtime. This has to be right for the five days. That, that, that leads to an added level of pressure for you, the designer, doesn't it? It does. What, what does that pressure entail? What level of detail do you have to go to? Well, there's the, obviously there's a timeline on a show garden. So uh, the planning starts months, six months ago on paper um, and then we aim to have everything built pretty much off site so that we can bring it all on, put it together and there's less stress. But we'll work <laughs> did that work out? Built. Yes it did. Good. It did in, in, in most most of the time, you know. Uh, there's always a few hitches and glitches along the way. You know? I suppose, you know, when you come to a show like this it, it, it's maximum effort. You don't want to miss a chance, you don't miss want to miss a trick, so you put everything into it. This garden in particular is uh, extra difficult because um, we're trying to recreate a section, a snippet of the Irish landscape. Um, so we didn't want to miss any detail. So we've gone to all kinds of little things. You'll notice around the garden um, we have small pockets of uh, wildflower and grasses that have looked like they've just self-seeded into the walls and into the cracks. Um, you know, we have 200 square metres of garden here to landscape, but certain sections of it were one square centimetre at a time. I think we can all appreciate the, the level of attention to detail that all the designers put into their spaces. And one can only imagine the gnashing of teeth and the stress that must abound in the week before the show is open. But what about the judges? What are they looking for? I'm here now with Mark Gregory, who's one of the judges who decides which of these show gardens win the medals. Mark, what are the, what are the, the standards, what are the nuances that make a garden a show garden? Well, you park your personal uh, tests and you basically judge the garden on the briefing sheet that we're given. So does the garden do what, well, what it says on the tin? So we're looking at a, a, a lot of criteria from spatial design, from two, 2D design, 3D design. Does the garden work? Does the mass and void work? And then we go for uh, the kind of theatre, the finish, the appearance, the polish. We're looking for construction detail and accuracy in construction. And then we go into the planting, you know, the associations, the relevance, the quality. Lots and lots of criteria that we go through. There really are lots in that checklist, aren't there? And then to take it to another level then, so you decide in your, your gold medal winners and 
What is that extra something that a garden has to have to achieve best in show? It's just the level of detail. I mean, it's detail, 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 and the ones that you, it feels, it, has it got a soul? It's just the basic the creation of the mood of the garden, the soul of the garden, you get it. It may be smell, it may be audio, it may be just the dressings, it may be the delicacies of the planting. It just it might be something, but you know when you're on something special, you just get that feel. You get it, you feel it. 100% you get it. So I'm with Gary Graham, the Borbia Bloom Manager. Gary, this is your area. You've been involved with this. It's your baby, if you like, since the start. And the show gardens here at Bloom are an integral part of the show. What makes them so special? Uh, I suppose Bloom is probably one of the few times in the year where the designers can really push out the boundaries on design. They're not working to one client with a limited budget or, or indeed in a garden that has to look really good throughout the Gary, when people are visiting these gardens, what, what should they be looking for? What should they be taking away with them? Oh, there's, there's so much. You know, where would you start? new materials, new ways of doing things, new plants, new finishes, way, different ways of, of, of associating things. Well Gary, they're looking as good if not better than ever. Continued success and congratulations and best of luck with the weekend. Great, thanks. Good to Cheers, have you Gary. here. Thanks. So next time you enjoy the show gardens at the Bloom Festival, perhaps you'll have a renewed appreciation of just how much work and attention to detail goes into the creation of every single space. Mm -hmm.